camera design is the layout of cameras for the player's point of view in the game. So, and what we do is we basically control that player's point of view throughout the experience. Cameras start with uh, the design sheet being delivered to us by the level designer. That's the most basic form. We put in all the cameras for the design sheet. Once the cameras are in and it's been play tested and it proves that this is a good concept and we go forward with it, it gets sent off to the art department. That's where they'll take it and they'll spend you know months sometimes making these areas look really epic and then they'll get finished with it and then they'll hand it back to us. And a lot of times it's a little bit different so we'll have to adjust some cameras. So once the art comes back in and someone's spent a year building that level. They can be very touchy if they spent a year styling in this formation and my camera just goes right past it. We try to do our best to show off everyone's hard work. And a lot of times there's, there's a lot of cool things that you want to see in there that you can't see so we'll go back and try to include those, those pieces um, in the shot that you get when you're playing the game. And from there, we play test it. This time, externally, we get some people from the outside come in, take a look at what we're doing, making sure that that's great. After we get their feedback, implement their feedback, we're ready to go to the next area. Anything we can do to make the cameras feel cinematic. Um, and they serve as a guide for the player, too, to lead them in the direction that they need to go as well. Yeah, whether they know it or not. Yeah. It's sort of like player, people who play the God of War franchise, after a while they get a feel that if the camera is looking this way, that's important. In the very end, it always comes back down to what would the player want to see. Most games in the action genre, um, the player gets most of the control over the camera. Mm -hmm. The player has no control over the camera in the God of War series. Fans have been clamoring, and I hear you. Um, we need to look around, we want to look around. It should be understood that there's really no way we could make the levels look this good if the player could look anywhere they wanted. What we're trying to do though, at this time around, is give you key points where you're in the adventure and you can control the camera. So maybe you're in a, a crazy puzzle room and you need to be able to kind of look around. So in some of these areas, we can give the player control, but in a limited fashion. I hope the uh, fans will appreciate that we're trying to uh, implement their feedback. What new feature do you like the best um, uh, from the camera system? The, uh, the rail-driven cameras. I, mean, I think that's been my favorite new feature as far as the technology that we have with the camera. But uh, it's a rail-driven camera for, the, for someone who wouldn't know. <laughs> a camera that's animated along a course that we have even more control over what the camera is showing. The rail is essentially what we kind of live and die by. Let's say this is your camera rail, this line here. And let's say this is the thing that's driving the camera. And imagine this is a section of a hallway or something like that, that that Kratos is moving along. We can take this camera here and we can key it. So we key to two different positions. So Kratos is here, the camera is here. When he starts to move along, as Kratos moves along, it will drive the animation of the camera to animate to that position. So as you're cruising along, you'll kind of see it. This kind of view where it's low and looking up at him. And then as he moves along, it will kind of track him, follow him. That's like one of our cool new things that we have that we think we can add a lot of kind of cinematic views to the game. This is a perfect example of uh, combat cameras right here. Here we're in a room, there's no, no, nobody to fight yet. And you can see we're kind of, we're taking a lower angle here. And as we come here, we'll trigger the spawning of a bunch of guys and you can see the combat, the camera is going to lift up so we can show more of the action and the, the framing, we're going to fit Kratos more towards the middle so you can see what's happening in front of him and see what's happening behind him. Try to give you the best view as possible for all the different combat actions that you're going to be taking. So this is an untextured view of the Olympus base. This is what the artist put together first before he assigned any lighting or textures to it. We can see these green boxes. These are the camera zones. They determine when Kratos is within one of those boxes and once he is the specific camera tied to that box gets activated. This is what a level would look like after we've added our cameras. You've got it panning around following Kratos. If you were to take that off it would basically look something like this. Very basic, not much excitement. You can't really tell where the player is supposed to be going. Adding the cameras is part of what definitely helps the level design flow. Here's a good example of some lead space. We're trying to tell the player this is where you want to go. Jump to this block over here. Once he's done the proper move, we zoom in, get him prepped for this nice shot of him making the leap. 
and then we transfer to another camera that shows him where you want to jump next, which is from here all the way down to there. So, and then he makes that jump. This would be an example of one of the Vista shots we try to do in the game, which is you've got some really amazing piece of uh, scenery in the background that the artists spend a lot of time building. So we want to get that into frame. 